Brush, blush, blush, brush. Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mathilda. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys for like ghosting you guys for at least like three months now. But life happened. I, you know, started a new job. I bought an intern, uh, went to Bali even. And yeah, life has been pretty crazy and I can't wait to you know, go through this entire Spitfire Q&A with you guys. So I'm already done with my makeup and I'm filming this only at the end of it. But it made me realize how much I miss talking to you guys and answering lots of your questions as well. So yeah, um, find me on other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram more often than not. And yeah, without further ado, let's get it started. I'll see you guys in a wee bit. La Roche Posay and Thilio sunscreen is a given. I absolutely love it so much. It goes all over. Okay, next up we have primer. This one was from Pixie Beauty and I just chose it because I needed a primer at that point in time. Like desperately needed one. So yeah, let me just give you guys context, right? I'm going to go out in a bit, but I have a call in like an hour or so so I'm just trying to like film everything I can before that call and then we'll see how it goes I'll be answering all the Spitfire Q&A questions I'm not gonna be spending so much time on each question because I realize I ramble so much and it's so bad of me I really should like keep it concise so I actually asked you guys right on Instagram to send me questions so I can do a Spitfire Q&A this one Okay, let me just open it up and then we can probably just go through it really quickly. So I probably will just be like reading off this screen here. Like I'll probably leave it somewhere here as well so you guys can uh, look at the question and look at me at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's figure it out along the way. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so right, right, right before we start, right, I just want to preface that I'm already like two to three months into my new role. Um, at my job and I just got confirmed yesterday that I passed my probation. I'm so freaking happy. So yeah, that is like amazing news for me. Other news flash, I guess like you guys already know I continued staying at my current rental, right? Yeah, all's good so far. I'm just trying to like... We don't, we don't even cook nowadays which is so sad and I feel like oh my god we should kind of utilize the kitchen more often. But uh, life happens. Okay, anyways, we're done with the life updates. Let's go into the Spitfire Q&A. Number one, the first question is, can you do a backflip? I can't. Never tried it. Don't think I can, but I can do a cartwheel, probably. <laughs> um, next question, can I be your cameraman? If you're not going to charge me for it, I'm open to the idea of that, but... Um, like don't invoice me after that like I literally am so stressed and we're like cash tight sis like we're cash tight so yeah if you want to be my cameraman I guess you could arrange that but DM me please and let me know what's your arrangement like I love how this question always comes out in like every single Q&A that I have it's like what's your bra size sir a lady never reveals right they have cup size, what? Are you Victoria's Secret? Are you gonna sell me bras? No, right? Then why must you know? Oh my god, you touch me, Ew. Next up, what breed is Gary and is he one of the many cats you'll get as a pet? I love this question and I would want to say that he's gonna be the last cat for now but I'm really itching to get another cat leh. Like I'm such a cat mom, and I'm absolutely in love with how cats are so self-sufficient right and they're so like easy to look after. I might just get another one and we'll see how it goes. I don't know yet, we're not too sure what I want to do and currently right now he is quite um, temperamental and he does kind of like give us problems sometimes but he's such a sweetheart in general. So. Answer, short answer, yes, hopefully. Uh, long answer is, I don't know, we'll see how. So another question I got about Gary is, is Gary a rescue or bot? Technically, he was bought. We went to visit so many catteries and we didn't really like vibe with any of them. Uh, and in the end, like Gary just kind of felt like home, you know, to us. So we kind of went along with that. But we didn't buy him from a store though. So we did get him from like one of our friend's contacts. Actually, uh, I talked to y'all, right? And I'm trying to do my makeup. I like literally them confused now. I don't want to do next, but bronzer time, I guess. <laughs> 
Anyways, so y'all know I have an intern, right? And then she was like trying to explain to me how I need to explore different angles in my YouTube. So this is a new angle. I hope y'all like it. Um, it's quite cute, but except for the fact that I have a hanging bit sheet over here, but just ignore that. Try to at least, because I'm trying to ignore it as well. So next question, how to save money responsibly? Despite working for two years, my savings is barely going up. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that because like, I kind of feel that as well considering that my expenses are quite high. Like I pay for rent, um, pay for the cat, I look after, you know, Gary and I generally like eat out a lot nowadays because I'm always at the office, right? But I feel that like you should probably just take it slow in terms of trying to figure out what can you negotiate on and what can you not negotiate on. Like, you know, paying for rent is something that I can't really get out of. I'm really in like a contract for like two years. Um, but something that I can definitely stop spending so much on is taking taxi, taking Grab, Gojek, all that. And also maybe like cooking more at home and eating less outside. So I think it's what you can control, not really like how much you can stop spending altogether you know what I mean but take it slow I feel like you should probably consider like your lifestyle choices as well um, things like gym racks up so much money like for me it's like almost 200 over every month and it's so expensive so that could be something that I could do without next time we're gonna do some blush I have a really cute like what's this brush blush blush brush but like we have benefit Terra here I freaking love this shit and like I'll be so sad when I finish it. Okay, moving on. How is your work coming along and do you like it? I love questions about my work, right? Because I honestly can't shut up about it and I actually do enjoy myself at work. Um, I'm constantly challenged every single day. Like we have new things to do every single day which is like quite quite insane to me like the volume of work but at the same time it's like a huge learning curve where I'm constantly just challenging myself challenging the norm and doing things that are so out of my comfort zone so I feel like generally I'm really enjoying the work that I'm doing uh, as I just shared with you guys also I just got confirmed like yesterday and it was insane because I didn't even notice that you know two months already passed and that like kind of just went by me like a flash so yeah really excited to see how else this pans out and how my role eventually you know uh, develops and yeah I'm here for the long run so I can't wait yeah moving on how do you quit your job when your boss is someone who will take it personally hmm I can't really control someone's reactions right if they're gonna be upset then like I can't tell them like oh you know what cheer up don't be upset like I'm only leaving and whatever but like if it's something that you feel personally you should do then why not do it you know and honestly like a, an organization right they're not supposed to rely 100% on you know an employee or employees in fact there's always like a third second line of um, like responsibilities like you know it won't crash if you like were to quit basically that's what I'm trying to say right so I think don't put too much pressure on what your boss would think but more of act in what is best for you in that moment. Uh, if quitting is, you know, that decision, then go for it. Like, follow your heart, follow your gut instinct even. If you're not gonna follow your heart, follow your gut instinct and what it tells you. Maybe another useful tip that this will help, um, you know, ease the situation is set up some catch-up sessions with them and kind of explain, like, your situation right now. You know, maybe it could be you're not really being challenged at work or maybe, you know, the culture fit is not really there. And then kind of explain it to them and see, you know, what their responses are. I think it would be really telling um, if your boss really wants to, like, develop your talents and to kind of, like, help you through this kind of, like, tough situation, you know. So yeah, all the best, you know, update me on how it goes, would love to hear more. Okay, so next question says, planning to get married? I'm not so sure, I'm not even being proposed to at this moment. I don't even think I can like have grounds to say like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get married. It's like, girl, where's my ring? Like, this ring, this finger is so empty, like where is it? But I mean, we'll see how it goes. I mean. I've never closed off the idea to a marriage because I like the idea of like union and you know sharing a life together and all that so we'll see how we'll see how it goes I'm only 25 after all like I feel like I'm still very very young and like I still haven't fully fully explored the world and what it has to offer me and I'm kind of like 
really focusing on my career at this point in time. Like a lot of my time is going there, um, you know, developing my relationship right now and everything. It's still in, in the works, right? So we'll see how it goes. I've actually moved on to the other IGS already. I'm gonna answer all of them now. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a cyber threat intelligence analyst. You can look it up on LinkedIn. I don't really like to talk about my actual professional work on social media because I feel that, you know, I'm kind of living in like an oxymoron where I like a dilemma every single day where I'm just like, you know, combating cyber threats at work and I'm like putting myself online every single day outside of it. So yeah, I mean you can find out more information from my LinkedIn, it's very telling and there's not a lot of Matildas in Singapore so you guys can sort of find it there. What do you do when how someone views you doesn't match how you want to be seen? For example, someone important like a date. Bestie! This is the part where I tell you that, you know what? Ignorance is bliss. Like, sometimes if you don't know what or how they view you, I mean like, do, does it really matter? Like, you know, I feel that I'm at this stage where I'm just like, if my friends told me tomorrow that they don't like the way I do things, I'll be like, okay, right. Like, let's talk about that and unpack it a little bit more. But if it's someone like a date, I'll be like, eh. I mean, if you don't like me, then I don't need you to like me. Yes, like, long story short, or like TLDR, I don't really want to change like someone's perception of me. Unnecessarily, unnecessarily just because um, you know this is someone I'm dating like I mean I'm not gonna change myself for anyone you know that's like a non-negotiable right so yeah the person can either just like accept it or kind of move on next up such an easy question and I really love this one it says what brand of your headset so I'm currently using like the Apple AirPods Maxes and let me just tell you some pros and cons while I'm at it Anyway guys, I'm more or less done with my makeup already. All I need to do is just lipstick and we're good for the day. Yeah, um, AirPods Pro Max, right? I don't know them. It's very clunky and it clacks together. <laughs> Let me just show you guys an example. Okay, so like I know some of you guys maybe haven't experienced or haven't tried the AirPods Max yet, but this is how it looks like. And it clacks. Can you hear that? Like, it's not a vibe. And also, it stains super easily, right? So, like, some of my parts, it's not very clean anymore. You guys can see, like, the makeup residue here as well. Uh, but overall, sound quality is fantastic. I actually love, love, love their sound what, cance noise cancellation and whatever. And it lasts pretty long in terms of, like, the battery life. So, no complaints there. But I think it could definitely be improved in terms of structure structurally, right? Just don't clack, it's like weird, you know, like clacking is so weird. It's, uh. So one of the final questions that I have, uh, what watch do you wear to track your workout? I'm wearing like the Huawei watch fit. I've always have been wearing the same watch because it's fantastic and it tracks all of my workouts. I'll be spin, strength, HIT, even squash as well. It's fantastic. I actually really love the Huawei. Uh, what's your MBTI? I'm a protagonist, like Ian something, right? I'm not so sure exactly what it stands for, but protagonist. Um, someone asked me as well, why don't you use the Not Gonna Lie platform instead? I mean, y'all, most of y'all should know that I came from like, I mean, a huge part of my social media life was pretty much me being cyberbullied. So it wasn't really like fun going through all of that. And I thought if I put myself on like Not Gonna Lie, right? more hate will come and I'm just like yo my hate space and everything like nah like, it's not for me so I didn't want to like kind of pursue that um what do you do to fade stretch marks I don't uh I don't really care much about stretch marks because I feel like it's part of your body you've been through so much with this beautiful temple of yours so why not keep whatever is there you know like, I don't really want to like cover up scars like, it's part of my story right uh, what motivates you? Fear of failure. I want to do better than my peers. I want to do better for myself to give myself a better life. How do I know what's the right career for me? And this is going to be the second last question. You don't. I really feel like you never find out until you actually put yourself out there to try every single thing in every means of ways. I mean, I have to go through like four years of banking to kind of realize that maybe a stringent company with lots of 
uh, regulation, you know, that kind of stuff maybe wasn't really for me, but it could be for someone else. So really trial and error, find out what you like, what you don't like, um, really take your lessons and learn as much as you can, be a sponge. I want to always I reiterate, right, that like, with every role you go into, it's like an immense opportunity for you to try something new, put yourself out there and fail. Like, don't be afraid to fail and just keep picking yourself back up again. Yeah. Okay, our last and final question is, how did you become a morning person? Honestly, I'm still trying to learn um, and consciously wake up super early at like 6am or 5am even but then it's all about habits right you're trying to build healthier habits or you're just trying to build a habit you know it takes like practice and it's really really like going through it uh, to get out of it right I mean try it for like three days out of five days of the weekdays and then slowly build up and see how you go about it but don't force yourself to do like every single day um, for seven days a week. I think it's gonna be so overwhelming and your body's just gonna like go on an overdrive. So <laughs> yeah, we ju we're just trying to avoid that kind of like thing, you know. <laughs> Y'all, I'm done in my makeup. Like girl, snatch. I love it. And with that, you guys, we've come to the end of our Spitfire Q&A and get ready with me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I usually take about three minutes to put this whole face of makeup on because I personally, you know, I don't really wear makeup and like, I just love eyeshadow work so that's kind of where like most of the time kind of goes uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this short little get ready with me and I can't wait to connect with you guys again more on YouTube so yeah, um, more content will be coming up I already have onboarded my intern and you guys will be meeting her next in the following video like and subscribe by the way if you enjoyed this content and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye!